Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about bullets in your HTML list and how to change them. Um, so I have an HTML document over here with a few different ordered lists and unordered lists and I have um, classes attached to each one of them um, that changes the bullets from the default. So as a default on an ordered list, you can see over here that we just use um, regular numbers so if you want to change that, there are a few different ways to do that. Um, we have letters, so I'll go into my CSS, and you can see here I've used the list style property, and that's what we'll be using mostly for all of these changes, and change that to upper alpha. You can also change this by changing the list style to lower alpha and this changes that to lowercase letters. Next we have an ordered list that uses Roman numerals. Um, we did this by changing the list style property to upper Roman. There is also lower Roman. Seems to be a theme here. The next list we have here has square bullets. Uh, this one's pretty simple, just list style square. Um, the open bullets here use list style circle. If you want regular circles, you could do disk. For some of our projects, we're going to require that you have custom bullets. So this last list uses them. And we do that by changing the list style image property. So over here, I have a bullet um, image, just a little one. And I, so I do list style image, do URL with parentheses, and add that. And I'll switch it over. Bullet, red. So you can see this red bullet as well. Um, sometimes the bullets are a little off-center. What you could do is actually edit your bullet image so that it has more space on the top to fix this. Another way to fix this is by using background images on your list items instead of changing the list style image property. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Slightly more complicated, but you can get a lot more control. So first I'm going to remove the list style from my list. And then I'm going to style the list items in that list. So we'll add the bullet red. Um, obviously we need to not have it repeat. You need to add some padding. So I'm going to add no padding to the top, right, bottom, but I will add padding to the left and this pushes it away. Um, you'll see that this list isn't really lined up with the others and that's because all lists by default have some padding on the left. So I'm gonna go back to the main um, style here and remove that. And then um, you can tweak this a bit to get these to line up with other bullets if you happen to have more than one. You, but, you know, we could wiggle that around a little bit to get it to line up exactly. And that's about it. So if you have custom bullets that are kind of wonky and not really lining up with your, um, your text there, you can also use a background image instead. Um, but the simplest way is to use this list style property. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, email your instructor or send them a Blackboard message or uh, hit them up on the discussion board.
You can also change this by changing the list style to lower alpha, and this changes that to lowercase letters. You can also change this by changing the list style to lower alpha, and this changes that to lowercase letters.